Well, hello, friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Sunday, sumptuous someday Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, January 14th of 2024. So happy Sunday to all of you out there. I hope you are all doing so very well. So all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, source, all that is, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided, boop, you wanted to watch it, <laughs> then there is a message here for you. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you, lovely person. So let's get get into this beautiful reading. So, um, I am so super excited. Um, I had a video break 200 views, which is amazing because I don't think any of my videos have broken 200 views. And actually, it's almost to 300. And it is the most exciting thing ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, as you guys know, I've been, I added the doing, oh, focus, um, doing the Zodiac energy readings, and uh, yeah, they've been pretty, doing pretty good, you know, so I'm super excited about that. But, yeah, so if you have not checked out your Zodiac video, then I suggest you, you do so because they're pretty great. So, um, yeah, they are intended for sun, moon rising and Jupiter for whatever sign. So whatever your sun sign is, check that one out. Your moon sign, check that one out. Your rising sign, check that one out too. And your Jupiter. So, because Jupiter is the planet of expansion and the intention is um, to tune into the part of yourself that is expanding. So, yeah, super exciting. I, yeah, I'm so excited. So, our affirmation for this beautiful, sumptuous Sunday is from our third chakra, our solar plexus chakra, Manipura chakra, card number 47. My professional path develops in keeping with my life plan. My professional path develops in keeping with my life plan. Yeah. So when we are, when we stay, oh my goodness, this focus, man, this focus today. <laughs> um, when we are in alignment with our life path and when we are truly staying true to it and walking along that beautiful journey, um, it, our professional path is in the same alignment with that. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I just, it's, yeah, I'm like, I don't know how else, <laughs> I don't know how else to say this, <laughs> no. but yeah, let's get, let's read the meaning. Okay, number 47, my professional path develops in keeping with my life plan, meaning our profession or occupation should correspond to our spiritual calling, to the life plan that we choose before we, before our embodiment here on earth. Then we will be successful and happy with our work since it will be right for us from a spiritual point of view. Take our talents and weak spots into consideration and help us develop in the best way, in the best possible way. The personal calling is always something very individual. Joy, enthusiasm, creativity, and success are always evident as the result of living our calling in life. 
Healing Stone, Kunzite, Howlite, Fragrance Essence, Clary Sage, and the Bach Flower is Gentian. So, yeah. Basically, when we stay in alignment with our soul's original plan, everything that happens to us in a professional manner is in perfect alignment with us because it has already been, like, it's already in our plan. And so, yeah, it's just like, it's literally like the perfect alignment. And as we just grow and develop, then our professional path, you know, will change or whatever as we change or as we move through our own journey of this beautiful life so yeah it's really all about it says you know let's see they it should correspond to our spiritual calling so yeah it's super beautiful super amazing and uh yeah how many of you are in alignment with your spiritual calling aka your life plan um i feel that you know a lot of the times we it's easy for us to get off track because when we are younger when we are kids you know we have to kind of go about life the way that our parents or guardians you know tell us to so we have to go to school do all that stuff or whatever and then it's instead of us actually tuning into our soul, we're actually, we're, I feel like it's almost like we are told what would be the best thing for us. Like, oh, well, you should go here. This is going to make you the most money. This is going to whatever, insert, whatever. But we should be following our soul. We should be following what feels good to us we should be following what we love we should be following our soul and allowing our soul to guide us so I love that so very much but yeah so I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in today and checking out the daily reading I yeah I just want to say I love you all so very much and I appreciate you being here and watching the daily readings. I know some of them don't get very many views, but I really just love to do them. <laughs> so that's just what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, so I want to thank you all for stopping by today. And if you resonated with this message, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. We would love to have you along for the journey. I think I'm up to like 200 subscribers already too. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's, yeah, like just milestones, I suppose, huh? But yeah, so thank you all so, so very much. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.